Jacksonville is picked to finish second in the conference this year after finishing third a year ago and playing in the WNIT. And their fine head coach is Yolette McPhee McEwen. And Coach Yo, after going to the WNIT last year, how much did that mean to your program? I know you wanted to take the next step and make a second straight NCAA. I mean, it meant a, a lot to us. As, as far as the program is concerned, you know, our motto is no ceiling. And so anytime that we can hit miles that we haven't hit as a program, you know, it, it speaks a lot for the direction that we're headed. You won an at-large bid in the WNIT last year, and you've got some really key components coming back this year. What have Brandy Bowie and Kayla Gordon meant to your program? Just, uh, they meant the world to the program, and to me personally, they're a part of my first recruiting class, so there's a lot of pride as far as that's concerned, and they're just great people, great leaders, great student-athletes. I'm excited about you know, their presence. How have they set the foundation for your program? Well, this year, you can tell we're in the fifth year. I'm in my fifth because they understand what's expected. They do a great job as far as leadership. They have the same message, just their own unique voices to the team. So as far as the day-to-day -day controlling the team and setting the tone as far as culture is concerned, they've taken full charge. How about some of the newcomers to the team in LaCara Salter? She came from Mississippi State. Yeah, we have LaCara Salter and uh, Kayla Nevitt, and they've both been tremendous to the team. Obviously, they have a lot of uh, experience from being at Mississippi State, playing in the SEC, and it's apparent when they step in. You have additions to your basketball family on the team and addition to your family as well. Congratulations. Thanks. How about she's our, she's our sixth man. <laughs> That's some kind of balance, too, though. I mean, it says something about you and your program. Well, you know, I have a great support. My husband's awesome. My staff has been phenomenal. And uh, even my five-year-old daughter, Yasmin, she's been great, too. You speak of your staff. You added to it with a former player coming in in Stephanie Edwards. Tell me how much that helps to have someone who really knows what you're about. I'm very excited. I was very excited about the opportunity to bring Coach Steph in. I call it Coach Steph now. And uh, it just means a lot. When I speak to my recruits, I always tell them one day, I hope that my whole staff is, is full of former players. And so she's the first. And she's just stepped right in. She knows what we want. She was here when we won the championship. So it's been an easy transition for us. Well, we'll see what kind of transition it is this year. For Jacksonville University, they will open up with a challenge on the road in the ACC against NC State on November the 10th.